Hey guys, how's it going? It's Nick from Bling Productions and today we're going to be talking about masking. So masking is a tool in After Effects that is used to cut out a portion of a video um, at normally used for a transition. So here's an example of one here. To do this, what you need to make sure you do is actually plan for it in the filming stage because that's where it starts. So what you actually need is an object that passes across the screen completely, like something like, like this. And then what you're going to do is mask behind that object and have another video behind that video. So that video is going to be cut out of the way and reveal the video behind it. If this doesn't make sense, it'll make sense once we get into After Effects. You also want to make sure that if you're moving and then something comes across the screen like a pole or a tree, that the motion is continued from that clip to the next. So that way there's a seamless transition between the mask. Again, this will make sense in a second, but just as an example, here's a video of what I mean, where there's a mask coming across the screen and the motion follows through. Or on the other hand, the mask comes through and there's no motion in the second clip. And as you can see, it doesn't look right, or doesn't look as natural. So this is a super effective technique, so we're gonna jump into the computer now and I'll show you guys how it's done. So we're in the computer once again, and the first thing you want to do is bring in your videos. So in this case, um, I've brought in two videos. One is this video here. And the second one is this video here. So my plan for this one is to actually come through here and then mask this area out. So instead of having this area here, it continues onto this shot. So the first step you want to do is go to the, the shot or the clip that's being masked. In that case, it's this one here. And then go to the section that's being masked. So that's this line here. Oh, no, sorry. It's this one here. And what you want to do is bring it in just in the middle when it passes the middle of the screen. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to be able to see the whole shape of that object that you're masking out before. So, so if, for example, if you're here and you mask it out, you might not get the whole shape. But if you do it in the middle, you can get the whole shape and then do this side and then this side. So we're just going to do that now. So the mask tool is this one here. But before you click this, what you've got to make sure you do is select your layer that you're working on. Otherwise, it'll create a shape layer. So hit the pen tool, and now you're going to be masking whatever you click on. So for this one, it's actually pretty simple, but it's a straight line. So I can just go from here to here. And then you want to cut out one side of the image. So for this one, I'm going to cut out this side. And it doesn't matter, like in this case, it's the wrong side, but that's okay, because if you go down here, there should be an invert button, and just hit invert. And that's the right side we want. So now that your frame and your mask is set, you don't want to move anything in the, in the timeline at the moment. What you want to do is click on mask, open up that, and then hit mask path. And that, that creates a keyframe right there. And that keyframe means that every time you move the mask, it's going to record where that mask is. So what you want to do is go ahead a few frames and then move the mask and then you'll see that the other keyframe is still there so it's going to make up the, the frames in between it and if there's one like this where it's slightly off just move it and it'll create a keyframe for that area and then it should be even more accurate so all you have to do is keep doing that with the whole motion so let's just keep doing that normally you want to do every second frame but if there's something where the motion isn't um abnormal or it's always constant, then it's fine to do every fifth frame, which is probably a bit stretching it, but maybe every every third frame. Um, but if it's really fast motion, then you want to do every single frame. This one's pretty constant and it's pretty slow movement anyway. So we're just going to be doing every few frames. So when you're masking an object off, which means it's going to come off the screen, you're revealing what's under it. You want to mask the side of the object that leaves the screen last. So if you have a look here, this side of the coffee machine, which is our object that we're using to mask, is leaving the screen last, which means that this is the edge that we're going to mask, which is exactly what we did. But if you're masking something on, use the side of the object that leaves the screen first. 
Also, what we want to do is just feather that mask a bit so it's a bit more natural. So if you just open mask again, and then here under feather, just bring that up to what you think is appropriate. There's no right answer, but whatever works for that video, it's gonna be different for every video. And as you can see, what I was talking about with the motion, continuing the motion on the next clip, that is happening here. So that's essentially it for the basics of masking. If you wanna learn more about this, then I suggest actually practicing more with more clips because you're going to get better at it through experience. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.